snowman came as the groundsman's here. There you go, he's dumping his bucket. He's now going to start and move the heap. I was going to do it myself or whatever, but, but no. I thought, I'll stick with this guy. He knows what he's doing. He's going to move all the wood, all the heap. I assume he's now putting another bucket on. Drag all this lot. And he's going to put an electric cable. I think that's the first thing he's going to do is... Where he's got a big old roll of duct in there and some proper shielded underground cable. Which he's going to run, I assume from here, somewhere, right up to the house. So that'll be... Oh, there's his little trenching bucket he got on the front. That's all good, isn't it? That'll be good to get this shed out of the way, but I ain't doing it any good sitting there. There he goes. Look at that, he knows what he's doing. Lovely digger, that. So I think I just said that's a three-ton digger. There you go. Call this old ground a soft, even with a track vehicle. That's leaving mess. Old drummers for us up. We got some ice on top. Of it. And there he goes, the first scoop. This is where he's putting the electric. This is where the electric is going. Up. And there's our lovely garden. Hi. I don't want to film this guy working too long. So we'll have a look. Christ, he's going in there deep. This is a much easier way to dig a trench than hand ball on it out. Bloody brilliant. Roy, right, I'm going to leave him to it. I'll see you guys later on. He's found a bit of brick rubble. <laughs> yeah. here we, well, here we are. A quick video out the window. He's down to water in the trench, look. That's how high the water table is, guys. Look, two foot down, we're in water. And no, that's nothing to do with a septic tank because we're on mains here. That's all the way down, look. <laughs> He's getting on for 10 minutes work. Look at that. <laughs> well, the trench has been dug. The electric conduit is in. Look at that. We've got the conduit for the electricity in there. We're down a good three foot. I tell you, this guy knows his stuff. He's now backfilling the trench. What a lovely day it is here. Absolutely beautiful. So there's our trench. Three foot deep. We're even gone down to clay in the bottom there, look. There's the water table again. We're just starting to come into a bit of water. Isn't that lovely? Nice bit of ducting in there all the way through, look. Ready to feed our power cable. So the guy's making a splendid job. And he's left us enough here to go into the house. Isn't that lovely? All right, obviously he ain't gone here because underneath this Underneath this pad here, obviously there are shit pipes. Well, they aren't very deep. They must only be a foot under there, if that. So I'm going to dig this bit out by hand to get this bit of conduit up to the house. But I reckon the time that take me to dig that ten foot out by hand, he'll have dug that whole hundred foot trench. Probably quicker. There you go. Right. <laughs> the groundwork's getting done. If you wonder what conduit it is, there you go, I don't know. See some good stuff, good strong stuff. Absolutely marvellous. Ah. So, way more progressions have been made. Stuff has started to be cleared. Our heap, our wire is all now buried under there somewhere, right to the bottom. He's now moving the big old wood heap. As you can see, 
he's now going to move a massive heap of logs over to there and move a big heap of rubbish or muck and spread the whole lot through here. Ain't that going to look good? That is going to look so much better. Ah! I, I've got to get back to the auction and look at this, um, what I think, Sevilla's engine. Ah. So, man cabers, it's day two of the groundwork. Yesterday, you saw a little bit of the power cable being put in. Why haven't we come this far? Because we can't put a three foot train straight because there are sewer pipes just under the ground, about a foot. So I'm gonna handball out there to get into the house. You would not recognize our lovely grass garden now. Now, can you guys remember what it was like? This will give you a sign of, yeah, it's level. So this is say day two, the big heap down the bottom has virtually gone. The big heap down the bottom has all been dug up. Half of it's been put in here to level up. We've still got to put in this piece. This fence has got to be knocked out, the linen post. So yes, this little bit he's got to do today. All this side he done yesterday, he leveled everything out, moved the firewood. The base is now being scraped for the shed. And this will all be leveled up nicely. So this will all be gone very, very soon. There's our lovely neighbours on YouTube. Hello. <laughs> right, here we go. So yes, this heap of dirt here is going to be spread once we've moved this lister for the second time. We'll just do away with the fence, level all through there, because there's still a huge dip in there. And yeah, we're going to be good. It's looking like a damn building site. I cannot wait for this to grass back up. But at least now it's level all the way through. You know, no nasty dips. It'll be perfect. And the base, like I say, he's now scraping the base for the shed. To give us a nice level base. Hardcore on there, put some cat one on the top of that, and then the shed can go on. But yeah, doing a splendid job he is, absolutely splendid job. I say, we've made a bank at the back which will grass up, that will act as a fence, and a good little deterrent actually, that's got to be stronger than a fence because that's about six feet thick, so no one's going to get through that base. So yes. The base is staying at the back, natural fence and windbreak, bit of security. Our gateway is now widened right up. So yeah, there'll be another update when more of this is done. But this guy, a Sunday today, and this guy, I think he said he's got to be out of here today, so... And then he'll come back at some point and put the hardcore down, and we can get the fence up. Ah, all good. So I just want to give you guys a little update on what our garden now looks like. All that lovely grass has gone. But don't worry, it's just under the surface, guys. Get the end of the summer. Get the end of the summer, this will all be back up and working again. We'll all have nice grass. We've got to roll all this out yet. This got to be leveled. Absolutely perfect. Ah! Well, that's the fence gone west. There's the post. Da -da, concrete post, no more. Straight out of the ground. There you go, there you go. Concrete block and all. <laughs> that's lovely. Got that mini diggers make light work of everything, look. I love it. <laughs> Great stuff. I assume I've got to lift that Lister engine now.
<laughs> On come the big bucket. Why did he go get a stump out? I don't think that stump will come. Be interesting if it do. Oh, I think we might dig around that and get that out. I don't know. I'll tell you, for a little digger, they are so powerful. Sure. So that is a big old stump in there where that old yew bush was. Yeah. Go on, stump. going to come out anytime soon. Cool. Dump is hard. Nope. Oh, oh, that's coming out a bit at a time, I think. moving pressure on that. That is amazing. <laughs> we'll be back when he Hopefully he gets that out. Here come Mrs. Man Cave to have a look.
Oh, there's some roots in that. You remember that yew bush? It was huge. And we're now looking how far the root system for that is traveling, look. I think the root is close to coming out. I think that's close to coming out, guys. Let's have a look at our tree root. There it is. So much for our little archway and fence. I certainly got a big hole coming in there now. Crikey. He's down there three foot, I think. Come on, Root. Nope, I ain't quite gonna come yet. She's loose, look. She is loose. Oh, excuse the wind noise, guys. Ain't gonna come yet. She's starting to break. Oh, not quite. lifting the whole back of the digger up. Whew. That is in there tight. Starting to come, look, I can see it pulling out. She's starting to come. Now starting to pull that out, look. There it is. There you go. There you go, that's out. Unbelievable. Look at that. He's shaking the muck off it. There we go. Our root is out. Nearly, nearly. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly out. There you go. Still roots in there, look. He's got it out now, there we are, there's our root ball. No, no, that's still attached with something. No, oh, that's out. That's heavy. That is one heavy root ball. Poor old mini digger's pulling a wheelie. <laughs> She's out, the root ball is out. Look at the size of the hole we have left over. Wow, that is one big hole. Do you know, this camera shows nothing about the size of the hole. <laughs> I'll try and get an angle so you can actually see how deep that is. Yeah, that's a good two or three deep, two or three feet deep in there. 
and there he goes pulling the root ball out. Ah. Well, man cavers, this is the final finale of the garden. You had a little look this morning. It's now groundsman has gone. There's a little bit of leveling up to do, but he said that's a bit wet to do that at the minute. Here we are. Here is Man Cave Garden. Rubbish all gone. Electric conduit where we've got to run our wire through. And here we go. So this is the garden now. The stumps have been taken out. The big heap down the bottom has gone, which is all good news. Now then, we had a uh, debate on what to do with all the stuff that was down the bottom. And half of that, we did level the garden off with. And we had a lot left over. And we put some just the other side of the track. So I've now got a turn-in area, which is the other side of the main track here. This is my burn pile, which I've got to burn. That's that massive stump and some shrubs and stuff, so... But I say, we've put a little a little piece in the edge of the track to make that a bit wider for us, so we can turn in. We now have an absolutely massive gateway, which is perfect. Pad scraped, ready for the sheds, we have some sub-base put down. And the rest of the heap, we've made into a berm... So we've got like a big backstop there. Save putting a fence up. No one's going to penetrate this damn thing. So yes, we decided to heap the muck up. And we can grass that. Or make it into a rockery. Do something with this big heap at the back. We can make that look pretty. This hedge isn't done yet. We've decided. We spoke to the neighbour down and said, do you mind if we take it out? He said, not at all. So this hedge we're going to cut right off, because that's still five feet deep. Here's our firewood pile. Haven't we got enough firewood here? The old fence and little arch that was stuck across there, that's now on the burn pile. And here we go. So, cool. excuse this wind noise, guys. So yes, this is our garden now. Excellent. Anyhow, I hope you can hear me because I'm head on into the wind. We've just ordered pizza, so we're waiting for pizza delivery. And yes, garden is pretty much done. We've just got to wait for it to grass over now and everything will be good. So yes, I'm going to trip over stuff. My slabs are gone. Luckily, we've had a dry weekend. But he said that's still a little bit too wet to really smooth out unless you used to get out there and do it with a hand rake but he said you know let it dry out a bit and then he'll come and give it a final finish press down perfect anyhow that's it guys this is the end of the garden restoration you'll obviously see more there'll be tons more videos coming and you'll see this slowly turn to grass when i put the shed up but the garden levelling and clearing is done. There's no dips, high spots in there. Perfect. Right, that's it, man gabers. Thank you kindly for watching. we just got the clear up now. But everything is pretty much there. We will see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! Norfolk Man Cave HQ Garden.